Is that Connor Trent from CB Off Road? What's Great. going on today? We're gonna go get a ZJ, bro. Ooh. What are we doing, Connor? We're going to get a 5.9 ZJ. I've been wanting one for a long time. Uh, they only made them in 1998, and they had the same like 5.9 V8 that like a Dodge Ram had or whatever. Uh, my grandpa had a ZJ when I was little, so they kind of have like a sentimental spot in my heart. I've been holding back my feelings for for one for quite a while, but I found one like two hours away from where we live, and we're gonna go see if it is a rust bucket or not. And if not, we're hopefully gonna come home with it. So stick around and follow along. Like, subscribe. Don't do that. <laughs> So what are we doing right now, Connor? Right now we're going to Bleepin' Jeep's house. Uh, Matt has a Comanche tailgate for me. Sorry, I'm getting blinded by the sun right now. Matt has a Comanche tailgate for me uh, because as you saw in the last video, crushed my tailgate pretty good. The whole parking brake debacle uh, ruined the pristine condition one that I had, so. Uh, we're gonna go stop by Matt's house real quick and get that, say hi to him, and then we'll be on our way to get the Jeep. Lord. Receivingly heavy. That's awesome. Gonna work? Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. What did, uh, what happened to yours? Man, we went to Michigan for a uh, wheeling trip. Oh, he just got us a tailgate. Exciting stuff. Heck yeah, dude. Uh -huh. Matt's the man. He's hooked us up. So we'll sand that down at a later date, respray it, and get the old tailgate looking ninja mint. So, unfortunately, I think we're going to be looking at this thing in the dark, but we'll, uh, we'll just have to be extra, extra inspective. Look at those deers. Hey! See you, deer! I don't think they like me. No. <laughs> Seven minutes out. This could get interesting. Looking at a Jeep in the dark. It's a great idea. There. Oh, even locks the hatch. Not huh. bad. Pretty pristine. Not used to those. Got the dang whip mount ready to go. Oops. I think this thing might clean up pretty nice. I'd say. I'm a little colorblind, but in the light, it almost looks a little green to me. In a good way. Probably because of the oh. inch thick of dust on it. Yeah, you'll have that. Cobweb. No, I mean, golly. Man, it's real now. Here we go, Connor. Man, look how look how foggy those oh, are. Oh, no. <laughs> Sometimes. Action. All right. What did we do today, Connor? Man, we had a good day. We got a Comanche tailgate to fix my broken one. Just slung a rock back there, so that was good. We've got a 5.9 ZJ on the trailer. It still hasn't really sunk in yet that I own one of those. Um, I've been looking at them for like two years. I knew that's what I wanted to do next. Paint seems to be pretty good. There's hardly any rust on it. Um, anything that does have rust on it, I'm pulling out of it anyway. So, good day, 
good finds. We're going to go eat some dang Cracker Barrel or something. And we'll see you when we get to the house. All right, we made it home. Now we got to see if she'll start. Come on, baby. deodorant on it be all right all right we got it home it is now a few days after all of the events that you just saw me and zach went and got it got home we got home at like 11 p.m so i was super tired uh just wanted to get in bed i'd been driving all day um, but it's here and I think now it's finally setting in that this is actually mine. I'm super, super pumped about this build and I kind of want to just take you around it, show you why I bought it, show you the things specific to these five nines and just kind of tell you why I wanted one in the first place. So why 5.9 liters EJ? Why go through all the trouble finding one of these instead of just buying a four liter one or a 5.2 even? Why, why this? My grandfather drove a ZJ when I was young. Um, it wasn't a 5.9, but it was a ZJ. Uh, it had a car phone in it, which was pretty legendary at the time. I really found memories of him taking me around in that. So I, the Comanche cannot do two things. One, it doesn't allow me to take anybody with me off-roading other than Bethany. And if Bethany's coming, the truck's full. And so I won't be able to take our future children. I can't take any of my friends right now. Um, so that's limiting. Two, while not as big of a problem, the Comanche's a stick shift. And, you know, I can teach Bethany to drive stick, and I probably will teach Bethany to drive stick because I want her to know how. Um, and she does as well. But if we're being honest with the kind of wheeling that we do, I just don't ever see a world where I or Bethany is going to be really comfortable with her wheeling a stick shift vehicle. Um, she's pretty novice when it comes to the wheeling world. You know, she's already trying to learn all this other new stuff, you know, like two foot, two foot driving, how to pick a line, how to modulate your brake and throttle and all that stuff. She doesn't need to be worrying about like, stalling it and you know feathering clutch and you know all that stuff so um, this is going to be a much easier thing for her to off-road with me and she can get behind the wheel so why 5.9 the simple answer is i just think they're cool i have a disease where i am really really intrigued by rare things and if you can believe it or not these are actually more rare than like even a comanche is they only made these in 1998 i think they made like a total of I want to say like 30,000 or something. I, I don't know that number. I'm just pulling that out of my butt. There's not a lot of them. Uh, there's a few key things that make them stick out. Um, in 1998, they were the fastest SUV in the world. Obviously not anymore, but it's just, you know, it's just cool. I think it's a cool piece of Jeep history. I'm a Jeep guy and I'm a unique Jeep kind of guy. What can you build that stands out, works for you, and is going to wheel really well? I think this is the answer to that question. So let me kind of show you around it. So again, 1998, 5.9. ZJ um, in dark slate. Things that are unique to the ZJ are this grill. This grill only came in the ZJ. Uh, these hood vents only came in the 5.9. The sides kind of have this extra like plastic trim. Uh, not really important to me, but they have it. Um, obviously all the badges say 5.9 limited on it. Came with sunroofs. Um, except for a very few of them didn't come with some roost. Got the 5.9 badge. And then they had this special exhaust tip. This one's disgusting, but um, they actually had a specific to them exhaust tip. Also came with a loaded interior. So you'll see there is like wood grain and leather on the doors. The seats are leather. 
They're actually heated as well. You can see right there, the heat heated seat switches. You know, you got the wood grain in the dash, wood grain on the doors, all the interiors leather. It's just no, no other ZJ came with this interior. So it was kind of like the premium. The obvious reason that you would want one is under here. All right, look at that. Hood light even works. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's got a 5.9 liter V8. These came in the Ram 1500s and this. So they only made these with these and they only made this Jeep with these in 1998. I mean, it's not a powerhouse or anything, but for what it is, it does kind of scoot down the road a lot, a lot peppier than the uh, Comanche for sure. So yeah, that's kind of what is special about them. Now let me tell you why I bought this one. So as you can see, this thing is pretty well taken care of. I mean, the paint is in really good shape all the way down the sides. The roof is in really good shape. Um, it has pretty much no rust. So big problem areas on these are under the doors, the rockers, the floorboards. It's just been really well taken care of. And like you saw earlier, I mean, the interior, everything in here works, which is crazy. All the dash lights, dome lights, the windows all work. The sunroof even works, which is super, super rare. And it doesn't leak, which is crazy. Headliner is in perfect shape. Don't have to fix that. Seats, um, the previous owner said he conditioned these seats all the time. You know, all of the AC heat and everything like that work. This is the only suck thing about the interior. This thing doesn't even work. Um, just a chintzy little touchscreen radio. Under the hood is pretty much bone stock. I changed the battery because it did not have a charge. That is the old battery right there. Already pulled that out. Had a little bit of a belt squeal, so I went ahead and changed that. Got a little power steering leak. That's really the only thing I can find wrong with it. That's all getting changed because I'm probably going to put hydro assist on it anyway, so not a huge deal to me. Big negative to the paint is this hood. Honestly, this isn't even the problem. It's really just right here. This is kind of beat up there. Um, so I may have him spray this hood and uh, just cause I think that's, that's really gonna bother me. I don't think I'm gonna be able to let that go. Pretty much the whole truck, um, axles are stock. It's got the stock all wheel drive transfer case. All that's gonna get ripped out. So you may be wondering, What's the plan with the Comanche? What is the plan with this? Do you still have the Comanche? What's going on? We do still have the Comanche. It's parked right outside. However, uh, the plan is to sell it. So um, I've been really back and forth with this. Um, I've even said, you know, hey, like we could just slowly build this and keep the Comanche. But in all honesty, even just having this, the whatever, I've had it for like four days it's already kind of become a nuisance to have two wheeling rigs, a tow rig, and my wife has a car. We just don't need that many vehicles. I love vehicles, and if I could have it my way, I'd keep them all till, you know, I died, <laughs> you know? But I'm gonna build this almost exactly like the Comanche as far as functionality, like the plans are, JK axles, 38s, long arms, you know, lockers, notch fenders, all that stuff. And so it's gonna do exactly what the Comanche does. You know, it's gonna be really good at rock crawling and I want it to drive down the street good. I don't really need two. As much as it pains me to say, I am going to be selling the Comanche soon. So if you want a Comanche, holler at me. Guys, I am so excited for this. I think it's gonna allow me to bring more people with me to introduce them to off-roading. It's going to allow me to bring my future children potentially with us off-roading. So anyways, that's it guys. Um, I am really, really pumped about this. Again, we're already in talks with some awesome people about how we're gonna build this and things we're gonna to use to build it. So stay tuned, new content coming, building this thing, new content coming, uh, getting the Comanche ready to sell, which is gonna be some bittersweet stuff, um, but it's gonna be good. We'll see you then and uh, thanks for watching.